if your journey is anything like mine, which I assume it is because we're all the same capacity, just regaining more of itself, activating more of itself. So the process, the process is really the same in everyone. You will start to experience what I mean when I say the word power. It's a very immediate, it's hard to explain, but it's like, it's like a state. We could call it a state. It's a state of power. It's a state of, a state of influence, but it's an influence you've always already had. It's just something you forgot. It was something you became blind to. But when you remember, when you regain your free will, you're also regaining your consciousness and you're regaining your inner power to move mountains, to create, to generate. And so it is from this space, from this state of power, of remembrance, of alignment, of prioritizing your higher self, that you will be able to feel what I mean when I say power. And you will start to see the contrast of yourself with other people's experiences. Again, just so that it makes it even clearer to you the nuances of how you have changed and what this is all about and how this works. And you will feel quite literally like you are becoming your environment because you start to see that your environment is nothing but your own energy creation. It's your own painting. And so you become it. The more you increase your state of power, alignment and remembrance, the more you become the energy that you generate and the less you believe yourself to actually be separate and be just this physical being. So another way into non-duality or into inseparability, another way into realizing that you're not an isolated, separate body mind, but that you are actually all that is, is to actually amp up your power, your state of remembrance, your free will, you taking care of yourself vibrationally to such an extent that your consciousness starts to bleed out of its skin, start to become more of what it already was, because now it's no longer giving away all that power to something else, therefore making itself small and physical and separate. Now it's regaining its strength and it's expanding and inevitably, symbolically, that has to expand beyond the illusion of the physical body. So you can start to feel that you are the energy that you generate and everything that you generate, everything that you perceive is your generation. It's what you generated. It's the energy of your being. So you become more of that. So you start to feel more and more that you are your environment. And environment takes on a different connotation, different meaning, a different experience. It's no longer consisting of objects as much. It's more just a field. It's a field of malleable potency, of malleable potential energy that just so happens right now to be shaped in this particular way, but only because it matches certain frequencies within your consciousness domain, within your state of being. But you realize, you feel that as you change your state of being, that the malleability of that clay-like, water-like, air-like substance that we could call your higher self energy, which generates your circumstances, your environment, you very much feel that that is simply just a blob of water in a sense, containing the potential for any type of creation. And that if you insert into that field, if you overpower that field with another deliberate, intentional, vibrational creation, it will respond to you and it will shift around that field to look a certain way. So less and less do you feel like you are a physical creature walking around in an actual physical universe that exists, whether or not you're there. In other words, you go from feeling like this universe is an independent universe and you're just a visitor, a physical visitor in an actual universe. And the more you'll experience yourself as being the creator generating this universe inside of your own field of consciousness, of water, of energy. And as you make changes vibrationally, you make changes circumstantially and environmentally in that sense. So if you want to be an environmentalist, this is the way to do that. Quite literally, you will change your environment by changing your frequency and knowing that you are the creator of what you see. And automatically, less and less, you'll feel separate. Automatically, less and less, you'll feel physical. Automatically, less and less, you'll feel isolated. Automatically, less and less, you'll feel lonely. Automatically, less and less, you'll feel like lack actually exists. Automatically, less and less, you'll perceive objects. Instead, you'll perceive abundance, infinity, endlessness, energy, light, unity, inseparability, creation, state of being, non-physicality, consciousness. So you are in process in the process of becoming, again, your own inner God state.